Hey everybody, welcome back to another Kex Pickup video. This is part two where I take on my other load of fun UMD movies. And you can see down there, there's a Scooby Doo one! So starting this straight off the bat, we have Scooby-Doo the movie. I really want to get into this one really quick one because I, this is what basically got me straight into rebuying Scooby-Doo MD. So I was doing Kex and I basically looking at the PSP game, seeing which one I could buy. And then I was looking at the UMD movie and I thought, huh, Scooby-Doo and UMD. I haven't used it in a long time, but they are so good if you're in bed because you can just lay down and watch a movie and have full comfort you don't have to worry about trying to look at the tv your psp was so awesome back then but yeah this is what got me into buying umds from kex is just like i saw it and i brought it and i haven't looked back since i've got so many it's ridiculous some people think i'm stupid buying umd movies but I just don't care. They're just that awesome. In fact, I might just rechange the entire total of my UMD pickups. <laughs> no, no, no. That would be a stupid top. Kex pickups is better. Same quality as a DVD. Into this small compact disc. It was incredible. Keep in mind the artwork on the disc is shit. But it's not that bad. It's not the main reason you look at this. It's just like... It's so good having it so small on you. I have the DVD copy on my shelf, but having a UMD one, I can watch it in bed and just like enjoy it. So moving on, we have Ghostbusters. Oh yes, the original Ghostbusters, yes. But it's a full length movie, DVD picture quality. And look at that, look at the artwork on that. It is incredible, just brilliant. And they even took time in doing like artwork on the UMD. I just noticed that. And normally with all the others, it's just a random image art from the movie. But they actually took time in doing artwork for it. So amazing. There is a bit of a crack on as well the D on my PSP one, but that's just to be, to be expected. Now we have Resident Evil Apocalypse, which is the second Resident Evil movie. Pretty much one of my most favourite Resident Evil movies. I didn't like the first one because it felt so isolated in that underground area and it just made me like feel like, you know, it's limited to what they can do. With this one, they're up on the ground and they're in Raccoon City, so of course it's going to be more better because it's got that entire city to use, and they use not the entire city, but they use elements of that that they that they're free to do whatever they want, sort of thing. So yeah, Resident Evil Apocalypse, I really enjoyed. Pretty much one of my most favorite Resident Evil movies. Then they with Resident Evil Three, they went mm, they went downhill after that one. But yeah, showing this off, you can see that they have the instructions how to put it in there with the UMD. Which sadly, oh no it does! This one has artwork as well! <laughs> what? Man, that's sick. I'm just noticing now that some of them do have artwork. Well, well, well I mean like they put the logo and they put time in doing it. Well, that's, that's good. Okay, now we have Hostage by Bruce Willis. Now, now I saw this movie uh, about two or three years ago I just like thought like, I want to watch all the Bruce Willis movies and then I watched Hostage and I was like this is a really different because I grew up watching Die Hard to get into Bruce Willis so from there I'm going on to Hostage it's a totally different environment so yeah <laughs> Hostage is a really good movie and a different kind of take on Bruce himself and then I'm going to show off inside there is a crack on the case but UMD is pretty well up there. You know, it has the hostess logo with a sticker there in the middle, but nothing I'm going to do about that one. Now we have our first series on UMD, which is Little Britain. Yeah, that's right. Little Britain is on it. This is the complete first series. The complete first series on two discs. Look at that. That is insane. I have Little Britain on my PSP. Mate, I'm chugged, and this was only about a pound, so yeah, it was worth it. 
I love Little Britain. They're planning to bring that back, which is great. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I love Little Britain back in the day, but bringing it back now with the way people are on the web, it can go either good or bad. I just feel like times now just is it's just a ridiculous time to live. If you've grown up in this generation, you wish you weren't. Even I wish sometimes, like I wish that the way people just overreact online and just can't take a joke or just can't be chill or real. They just have to be serious all the time, and they go off scales about the most boring thing. You could say, "I don't like oranges." You're like, "Oh, so you hate the color orange, do you?" I bet you're a banana person. I am a banana person, actually. I have a banana right here. But that's besides the point. I'm just saying that's how crazy online is. If you dislike something, they will go out their way to hate you for it and just bring you down. But yet, I have a YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, the second one we have, Leonardo DiCaprio's um, The Beach. Now, I never saw this movie, but I am now because now I'm collecting UMD movies and watch some of these ones and see some movies that I didn't watch from my childhood like I understand this is like an old movie it has full length so we have the widescreen presentation it's DVD quality so it's going to look good regardless I just really hope that it turns out good because he has some good movies don't get me wrong Leonardo has some good movies out there but some are bad this could be a good one it could be a bad one I just don't know but I really hope it's a good one for him because I do like him as an actor now we have a Jim Carrey video, and I've just, um, just so ironic that the Sonic movie's out with Jim Carrey, and I haven't seen it yet, but I will see the Sonic movie, and <laughs> I pick up a UMD one of Jim Carrey's, which is fun with Dick and Jane. <laughs> I've never seen it, but you can always tell with a Jim Carrey movie, it's going to be funny regardless. I've not watched a single Jim Carrey movie where I hated it. It is, I've, I I would say The Truman Show is his favourite movie, but other than that, <laughs> no, The Truman Show is his most realistic, like, down-to-earth movie, like, a serious movie that I really liked. All the others were just funny and this made me hilarious, but yeah, <laughs> the, Dick and, the fun with Dick and Jane, I can already tell the way he's running, <laughs> that it's going to be a hilarious movie. I don't think I've seen a bad Jim Carrey movie. I don't think that one exists. Now we have 8 Mile. Every moment is another chance. Never seen this movie. But I saw it for a pound at Keck. So I thought why not add it to my collection. And I can watch it when I get some free time. From the back it does look interesting. Like, don't get me wrong. I always look at the back when I'm buying new stuff. And from the back... It does have some good pictures and it does have some good description. So yeah, this is something that I might be into. You just never know. Now we come to the last one of this pickup and it's Will Ferrell's Elf. Yep, the Elf movie in the flesh. I think there was a 50p. So yeah, this, this one was cheap, really cheap, but worth it. I love the Elf movie. I think I have so many Elf movies on DVD. I have been part of the Iconic Moments, Festive Collection... Uh, no, no, it's not like I'm I have festive collection. I have two festive collections: the original uh, the DVD. I have a VHS copy of Elf, and now I have the PSP one. So yeah, <laughs> Elf is just amazing. And then you got the promos and all the other ones that they can do. But yes, that is my Kex pickup video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please share your support by liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turn post notifications by ticking that bell to get that day when I post new fun videos each week and i'll see you next time but until then take care